Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm Morgan Zed, your host. Have you seen the title of the video yet? Uh, today, we're going to talk about affiliation, partnerships, and sponsorships. Have you ever seen other streamers or content creators working with brands or having companies' logos on the stream on their about section or space and you don't know where to start? Or maybe what they are all about? Let's talk about it. What are affiliations, partnerships and sponsorships? Affiliations and partnerships are very similar and to some brands are one and the same. Most brands see affiliations as the first step and partnerships as a future step. But really, what are they? They both mean that you work together with a brand. In most cases, it's big brands that allow you as a streamer, content creator, to use their brand to advertise their products and name. Brands will give you discount codes or discount links or both to share with your community. Those codes and links let you earn a percentage of the sale if one of your viewers decides to use the code and buy the product. Sponsorships are along the same line as affiliations and partnerships, but the brands pay you upfront or in installments to promote their brand and products. Affiliation, partnerships and sponsorships have contracts that influencers like you and me can sign in order to access those opportunities. Yes, no matter how much following you have, you are still an influencer. Read those contracts well, even the fine prints. Do your homework on the brand. Don't just sign up with every brand that you come in contact with. If something is too good to be true, most times it actually is. Sponsorship contracts usually are sent by email. Affiliation contracts are usually available on the same web page where you sign up. Partnership contracts are a bit of both. How would you know which brand you should work with? Glad you asked. I could stand here and tell you which brands are good or bad, but the truth is, it wouldn't be fair. The best suggestion I can give you is, do your homework on the brand. See how the particular company brand products fits with your brand. Here is an example. What do you think about a tech creator working with a company that sells sleeping pills or a company that sells jogging shoes? That kind of doesn't match, right? How about the same creator working with the PC company or a gaming company? Fits better, right? Same thing goes with you. Who are you? What content do you make? One last thing I want to mention, peak companies. Don't overdo it, otherwise you will look like you're just out to maximize your income. Do you reckon I missed something? Something isn't clear? Slap a comment down below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Over 80% of you, as you can see here, are not subscribed. So please make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified next time that I upload the video. Now, let's go back to the video. Now this part is completely off script until the next change. So please be kind. <laughs> I just have a few a few seconds left until the um, five minute mark. So I thought, you know, why not? Just put a couple of words in the middle. Is there any topic in particular that you want me to talk about? Anything that you maybe um, have heard but you're not really sure what it means, pop a comment down below. I'll be happy to make a video out of it or just answer to the question. And don't forget to join our small community up on Trovo. The link is down below in the creator site. 
I appreciate you got that far into the video. I stream most Fridays at 8 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time. So if you have any question, pop and stream and ask. I don't buy it. All the links are down below in the creator side. Until next time, happy creating.